What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another little video here and uh, I now looking back this is future me by the way I'm gonna get into the video here in a second but I had to explain a few things for you guys looking back I did a horrible job at uh, at documenting this whole process I was sick for about a week uh, actually a little over a week I still have a cough and this is now coming up on the third week so I don't know what I had but I was dying for a whole week I literally didn't get out of bed so uh, we did this at the tail end of that, so I was still feeling really bad. So shout out to Augie, thank him so, so much for actually helping me uh, with the different stuff that we needed to do, and uh, mostly the gluing, the cutting of the PVC, stuff like that. Just, I had no energy, I had, I had nothing. So I just want to preface that for you guys, uh, but I will see you guys back here uh, once you watch what we did, and then I'll pick up where we left off and I'll explain to you how everything all works. Okay, bye. fix any confusion we got us a little polishing pad here we got us an ammonia removing uh, little sponge and then also at the very bottom we got some bio balls and some old sponges and different stuff from the old filter that is zip tied with one big zip tie so it's all one big piece and I can open it like like so you, uh, you got the idea so let's throw her in alrighty boys well it has been now uh, one two uh, almost a week Tomorrow will be an exact week since this filter has been up and running. And what I wanted to do is I really wish I showed you guys footage of the pond before because after is absolutely mind blowing. You can see in here. Yes, it's still a little like to me it's green. I think to you guys it's more brown. Uh, so you can't really see crystal crystal clear. But I mean, I can I can look at big catfish and literally tell you everything about all their fins, about his eyes, whatever you need to look at, I can see it now. It feels like a fish tank again, which uh, in the last video I posted, I saw a few comments, this footage is old. Yeah, it was very old, actually. It was when we got our little grass cutter shark, which he swims around, kind of looks like a little sperm swimming around. There he is. Everybody's doing good. All the fish are doing really good. They're very, very healthy. Uh, so I wanted to preface all that for you guys. We did have a big ammonia spike, which is hence why I put that ammonia pad in the filter. Uh, and speaking of the filter, I want to walk over here and kind of show you guys how we put it together, where I figured out this idea and everything else. So basically, I just took an old brute. I believe it's a 55-gallon uh, trash can that I, I already had it. So take that off the list. The only thing I had to go buy is the uni seals and the PVC pipe. Other than that, I had everything else, which was great. So uh, really all we did was we cut a hole in the top, which I would like to go over there, but there's this garage is a disaster right now, boys. I'm sorry. But what we did was there's a regular pump, which was actually hooked up to the old filter, which that then shoots the water up, over, boom, into the can, which there are two uh, milk old milk crates, I guess I should say, and they are layered with uh, what you guys saw. I put an ammonia reducing pad in there. Uh, the only thing I don't have in there is a legit like polishing pad. It's just filter floss that's in there right now. And without the polishing pad, it's pretty dang freaking clear. Like you guys can't, can't even complain to me anymore that you can't see the fish. That's half the reason why I haven't filmed a whole lot of these guys lately just because, well, you couldn't see them. Uh, I've had to use all the old footage, plus I was sick, everything else. So back to the filter. What we did was it all runs down, it trickles through the floss and the pad, and then it drops down again to all the bio balls, the old filtration, well, two of the old filtration sponges because I wanted some bacteria in this filter. Granted, there was plenty in the water to go around, but you get my point. Then we have two, uh, I believe actually the far one is totally open all the way. Um, everything's one inch pipe, by the way. Let me preface that. Uh, two one inch uni seals come out, and then uh, obviously the one on the backside pumps way more water than this one. I wanted two instead of just doing one big pipe because uh, I wanted to have some pressure behind it. I didn't want it just to be just a whole floodgate, just being able to be opened. I still wanted to have a little bit of pressure and a little bit of uh, like flexibility. Another thing that we added kind of after the fact was this zip tie, which also kind of doubles as a peephole for me. 
So I'll shine my phone flashlight in this hole and I look in this hole and it allows me to see how dirty the sponges are inside. So that's something cool. The zip tie also allows this to stand up straight because as you guys can see, it's quite, uh, it's quite wiggly up there. Uh, there was a few times when we were setting this up, it just kept falling over, falling over. I'm like, all right, I don't want to come out here one day and this thing's either falling over, shooting water all across the wall or who knows where it would be going. But I didn't want to do that. The only other thing that I want to preface to you guys, if you guys do want to make this at home, uh, which is super, super simple. It literally took me and Augie, I think, 30 minutes to put this together. So if you got two guys, you can bang it out real quick. Uh, but one of the things I do want to preface is if this ever clogs, right? Let's say one of these clogs up because there's waste got past some of the filtration media, comes in here, clogs this pipe. What's going to happen is this is going to flow up. It's going to fill, fill, fill because nothing's releasing and this whole thing's going to start overflowing. That's the only thing. Uh, a normal filter would not do that because it would just clog, it would bind up and it would just turn itself off. So this one will not do that. I have nothing in here. Can I add a float sensor? or something like that that will like at least ding my phone or put a water sensor right near it to where the moment it gets wet it'll let me know yes i can do that am i going to no not at all uh the other thing we did add is these little drop down pipes i don't think i mentioned that uh once we actually did it i just wanted it to be a little closer to the water and uh I, another thing i do want to ask your guys' opinion on is the water is quite warm like i mean i don't have a very good gauge of temperature sometimes but that feels like bath water like i want to swim in it and i don't think it's definitely not too hot for the fish but i want to get your opinion on whether it's fine or if i just need to do more water changes because that'll put cooler water in or if i need to get a chiller for this i don't want to get the chiller the chiller is going to be expensive because this is 1200 gallons so we won't be doing that but that's another concern that i do have with this here pond i do also have the uh the little thing that i said that it was going to be like a catfish hide. Um, yeah, I haven't gotten in the water to put that in yet because I don't really want to. I, I don't want to get in here. One, I don't want the fish biting my toes off. And uh, I just I just don't want to get wet. I, it's quite a process to have to get in and out of this thing, to be quite honest, because it's just to the height where it's too tall. And it's it's like a you almost have to jump in. And it's very slippery. So I, I know I got to get in and do it because I know I need, I need to get this air stone out. I need to put the air stone over there. I want to take uh, I have an old pump that's over there somewhere. And I basically want to build this same thing, but up here it has a spout that shoots out this way or a T that has a bunch of holes and use one of these pumps as a wave maker, probably on one of those ends. Uh, I, I don't know if that makes sense to you guys right now, but it'll make sense once I do it. Uh, just to get more water movement in here. I think it needs more. Uh, I don't see many, like much waste really sitting around. There's a little bit right there, but I mean for majority larger predator fish that eat quite a bit and digest a lot of food, it's doing pretty good. So I can't complain. I also could add another pump, the same thing here, come up, over, boom, in there, double the filtration. We can do that as well. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I wanted to show you guys this filter, wanted to explain it all to you, wanted to show you how drastically clean the water has became. I actually can do stuff now and with this uh speaking of that i do want to go get and i mean go get because literally we're gonna go get it is a peacock bass we can go catch those down south they're invasive you are allowed to remove them and take them back for an aquarium uh we also want to get an arowana probably a clown knife fish and i think that's it on top of my head uh oh alligator gar i want to get a gar as well so those three would you guys rather see me just buy them at a store or online or something? Or would you rather see me actually go catch them? Because all three of those species we have here in Florida. So I wanted to give you guys that option. Uh, I know I haven't been posting very many fishing videos lately, which uh, I'm, I'm working back into it. Uh, the, the, the weather is ridiculously hot. Nobody wants to fish in this right now. I know I prefaced earlier uh, in the year that we got a new boat, which we did. We now have a bay boat at home. Uh, the flats boat is gone. So a lot of things that we could potentially be filming here very, very shortly. Uh, just trying to get back into a groove, trying to get unsick. That was a huge goal, but I tried not to miss any videos for you guys. I think I did miss, I think two, uh, just because, well, there, I had no, no energy, boys. I'm so sorry. So other than that, yeah, nice and clear. I don't want to feed them for you guys because we're doing a feeding video that uh, it takes a while because I'm going to feed them basically every option of food that they would normally eat uh, or that they wouldn't eat but they can eat and it, it takes time to film those kinds of videos because I can't just give them 12 different options of food just in one night because they won't eat it all. So I'm trying to film that video for you guys too. So you guys uh, get a cool little show of all the feeding, especially Mr. Bass. He's pretty wild. There he goes swimming. He, uh, he gets fired up when you get some food going. So other than that, Mr. Fish, say goodbye. I'm saying goodbye. See ya.